Welcome back, everybody, to the Charlotte Hornets My League here on NBA 2K20. As today, we have Game 6 of the NBA Finals, and for the first time in these NBA Finals, we've got an elimination game coming. Looking at Game 5, it was a nice win for the Hornets, 109-106. Very close game. The Pelicans really didn't have that one alpha dog in this game. They had like seven guys in the double figures. Lonzo actually led the way in scoring. Uh, but the same could not be said for New Orleans. Anthony Edwards has been that alpha guy. He struggled game one of the finals, but has been dominant ever since. Jonathan Kuminga, Miles Bridges each played well in this game. Bradley Beal with a double-double. Mobamba with nearly a double-double. Donovan Mitchell was fairly solid. So uh, right now, I think it's safe to say that your Charlotte Hornets currently have the momentum going into game six on their home court with a chance to be crowned the champions. Looking at the current statistics for the playoffs, nothing too crazy new after uh, the last game five, but this game six, this has a chance to be it for the NBA Finals. The Charlotte Hornets have a chance today to become the NBA champions, and the Pelicans, they're going to do their best not to allow that. If New Orleans can win this game, not only will they have some momentum, uh, but they'll also host the Game 7, so this could be a massive win for the Pelicans, and obviously an even bigger, even bigger win for Charlotte, considering if they win the game, they'll win the NBA championship. So uh, there is a lot at the table in this game, a lot at stake. So uh, before we start, I did get a request in the comments to show off the sliders. Uh, let me just say, first off, I play very differently than most people, so... I don't recommend this to the average 2K player, but what I do use is all-star slide, all-star sliders, like just base all-star sliders, with the CPU shooting sliders around 70, and the user shooting sliders around 60, just because I play on eight minute quarters, trying to make the scores realistic. Other than that, everything is base all-star. So really, the only things I change in the sliders are the shooting sliders. So uh, there you go. Now it's time for the game itself. The Spectrum Center is the location of Game 6 of the 2022 NBA Finals as the Charlotte Hornets try to win their first NBA championship in franchise history tonight. If they win this game, they're the champions. The Pelicans will try to avenge their Game 5 loss and put this series to a Game 7. Your starting lineups for New Orleans, Lonzo Ball, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Jalen Johnson, Zion Williamson, and James Wiseman. For your Hornets, at the point, 6'3", 207 in his 10th year from Florida, Bradley Beal. At the two guards, 6'1", 215 out of Louisville, in his fifth year, Donovan Mitchell. At three, it's the sophomore, 6'5", a donut away from 230, Anthony Edwards. At the power forward position, 6'9", nice, 230, the rookie out of Duke, Jonathan Kuminga. And at center, the seven-foot uh, Fourth-year man out of Texas, Mo Bamba. Bamba and Wiseman at center court for tip-off. And Game 6 of the NBA Finals is officially underway. And the tip-off will go to Wiseman and the Pelicans. And that's how this one will start. Lonzo with it. Going to get it to Wiseman. Over to Johnson. Back to Wiseman. He draws the foul. James Wiseman would then proceed to make one of two three throws as it's 1-0. Here is Jonathan Kuminga. The first field goal of the game will be a layup as the rookie puts the Hornets on the board. Now it's 3-1. Zion, no good. We know that we've know we seen 3-1 leads been blown in the finals. We'll see if this one does as well. As the Hornets go uh, on the fast break, Anthony Edwards with the layup, his first points of the game. Now it's 7-1. Charlotte looking good so far. Alonzo over to Zion Williamson. That's the first Pelicans field goal. We're a good two minutes into this game. Now it's 5-9. to nine. There's Zion. Top of the key for three. And New Orleans is only down by one now. Very low scoring game up to this point. Both defenses have been phenomenal. As Charlotte trying to get the open shot. Anthony Edwards uh, will do just that. However, he is no good. Bamba, however, does get the putback. And it is now 11-8. Later in the first quarter. Score still 11 to 8. Lonzo with the lob for Zion, and it's deflected inside by Bruno Fernando. Miles Bridges now going off the glass with the layup. Charlotte up by 5, 13 to 8. Here's Jalen Johnson. No good, but James Wiseman puts it back. Wiseman has been a force to be reckoned with inside all series long. Jalen Johnson now guarded by Donovan Mitchell. Johnson doesn't know what to do with it. The talented rookie out of Duke. Now he loses it. Mitchell with the steal. Here goes Charlotte. 
He's going to pass it out for Miles Bridges, who misses the layup. I thought he was about to slam that, too. 13 to, stent, to 10 still. Only a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. This has just been a defensive slugfest. Here's Jalen Johnson with the layup. Now it's 13 to 12. These teams might not be on pace to score 60 right now. That's pretty incredible. Donovan Mitchell now with the powerful slam. Mitchell has been fairly quiet in the finals. And when I say that, he's put up respectable numbers, but he hasn't really dominated. I don't think he's put up 20 points in a game yet here in the finals. But I also don't think he's been held to the single digits as it is 14 to 15 late in the first. Drew Holiday for the lead, and he gets it. The veteran guard puts New Orleans up by one, 16 to 15. Can Charlotte get a shot off to end the first? Bridges heaves it up, and it is no good. After one very low-scoring game, the Pelicans up by one, 16 to 15. As we go to the second, Jackson Hayes steals that one like a robber in crime. Here comes the Pels. The lob from Ingram to Zion, who makes it a three-point lead for New Orleans. Bradley Beal now. He has enough space. And he'll knock down the three. Josh Green played good defense, but not good enough. Here's Bridges. He gets denied. Jackson Hayes says, not in this house. Zion now. He gets the mid-ranger to go down, and the Pelicans are back up. Now it's 20-18. to 18. There's Brandon Ingram. More wide open. Then a McDonald's drive through at 5 o'clock in the morning. Getting the three to go in. Tough layup for Devontae Graham. Uh, makes this game a little bit closer. Now Charlotte is up. 24-26. This is the score you usually see at the end of the first quarter. We're halfway through the second quarter. Here's Jalen Johnson with the open three. 27-28 now. Johnson again, this time from deep. He's going to try to pull it. No good. Wiseman, however, with the putback. Nice defense inside from Jonathan Kuminga, showing why he's one of the better young defenders in the NBA. And then Mitchell gets it to Edwards. Corner pocket for Anthony Edwards as it's now 27-33. New Orleans with the steal. Here's Brandon Sampson with it. Guarded by Mitchell. Sampson doesn't really know what to do with it. He's going to get it inside for Wiseman. Tough layup, no good. But Wiseman gets like his 17th offensive rebound of the game. And we'll put it back in as it's 29-33 on the inbound. Johnson over to James Wiseman. Wiseman trying to post and toast on Mo Bamba. Will he be successful? Now he's kind of being double teamed. Josh Green is now wide open and he connects from deep. It's a one-point game, 32-33. There's Edwards with a powerful dunk. 35 all here at the end of the first half. Can Charlotte get a bucket to take the lead before halftime? Here is Anthony Cash Money Edwards. Anthony Edwards hits the three, and that'll put Charlotte up by three. Exiting half number one. The Hornets are now one half away from being crowned NBA champions, but this game is far from over. New Orleans still has as good of a chance to win this game as for Hornets. As uh, we take a look at the halftime report, Anthony Edwards does not have 14 assists. That's just a glitch that has been in this game for months that the home team's assist number for their top scorer, their top player, is the same amount it's the same amount as your points. I don't know why. This game is not fixed yet. And it's been in the game since, like, January, but it's 2K. I don't know what to expect. It's now on to the second half, 38-35. Charlotte will start on offense. Here's Bradley Beal going inside over to Bamba. Passes it out for Edwards. He ended the first half of the three and opens the second half with a tray ball. 35-41 now. This is like the biggest lead of the game because it has been so back and forth. Here's Jalen Johnson pulled up. No good, but Wiseman with a powerful dunk. Now 37-43. Beautiful slam for Jalen Johnson. Still a six-point game once again. Johnson is blocked. Transaction denied, says Mo Bamba. Get that stuff out of here. And then Donovan Mitchell going upstairs where Grandma hides the cookies. Beautiful dunk from Mitchell. You might as well call him Father Mitchell because he just baptized James Wiseman inside. 39-47. Here is B.I. trying to get by Anthony Edwards. He's unsuccessful. Hornets passing, or Pelican, sorry, passing it around a little bit. Lonzo now with it, trying to drive inside. Lonzo, he did something right there to Bradley Beal's ankles. Wiseman has blocked. Zion gets it up before the shot clock goes down. No good, but Wiseman gets the end one. The Pelicans can dilly-dally for the 24 seconds during the shot clock. Heave up a prayer. Doesn't matter if it doesn't go in because Wiseman's there at the board. 
There's Bruno Fernando with a nice layup for Charlotte. Here's Wiseman off the lob, misses the layup, but he gets the board and the putback. James Wiseman has not made it easier for these Hornet big men. Anthony Edwards being double teamed. They're going to leave Devontae Graham wide open. Not a great decision by the Pelicans as the former Jayhawk connects from deep. There's Nikhil Alexander-Walker, his first field goal of the day. Will be a dunk, and the former Virginia Tech Hokey Pokey will make it a six-point game now. Anthony Edwards with it. His shot is blocked. I think that was actually supposed to be a pass, and it got tipped by Jackson Hayes. Holiday now inside for Zion, who gets the powerful dunk. 54-50. Here's Drew Holiday. Kind of cut the lead in half, as uh, it's only a two-point game right now. With well, about two minutes to go in the third, now it's a four-point Charlotte lead. Brandon Sampson, his ball is tipped and stolen by Bradley Beal. He gets it to Donovan Mitchell, who will connect on the layup. Nice deep. The best defense creates good offense. Here is Brandon Ingram. He gets the layup on Miles Bridges. Nice defense from Bridges, but Ingram does connect. 56-62 late here in the third. Brandon Ingram, he is the open lane, and he gets the layup. LeVar Ball once said, stay in your lane, but there is nobody in that lane. 62-58 now, Ingram over to Sampson. He gets it to Jackson Hayes. Hayes guarded by one of the guards. It looks like Donovan Mitchell. That's a mismatch. He's going to pass it out for Brandon Ingram, who connects with a three. Here have only about 30 seconds left in the third. Bradley Beal now makes the layup. 64-61 late in the third quarter. Zion Williamson with the and one. He dunks on Serge Ibaka. That wasn't a bad defensive play from Serge. That's just Zion being Zion. Here at the end of the third, uh, Zion would miss his free throw, so Charlotte still has the lead. Bamba cannot get it off in time. It's no good anyway. And that'll do it for the third quarter. 64-63, Charlotte leads. The Hornets are now one quarter away from winning the NBA Finals. But if the Pelicans outplay Charlotte in this quarter, chances are the Pelicans will win the game. Bradley Beal misses the three. Bamba to Kuminga for the uh, short shot. Hornets up by one with about seven minutes to play. These are the finals moments that you dream of playing as a kid, and these young men are now living that opportunity out. Here's Jalen Johnson with the layup. Now 67-66. There's Miles Bridges. Green Bean Machine. Charlotte now is a very nice point total at 69. Jalen Johnson misses the layup, rebounded by Charlotte. Here they go on the fast break. Jonathan Kuminga all alone, and he's not going to go for the dunk. He will take the layup, as it is 67-71. The Hornets no longer have the nice point total, but the Pelicans will, as Wiseman gets the layup. 71-69 to with about six minutes to go in the game. Jalen Johnson no good. Wiseman with the board. He does not get the putback that time. Mitchell eventually grabs for rebound. Here's Anthony Edwards now. He will get the and one. Fouls on Jalen Johnson. He does not like the call at all. Edwards is pretty stoked about it. Now it's 69-74. Here's Lonzo on the drive. His shot is denied by Bamba. But guess who's there to get the put back? None other than James Wiseman, who's continued to be an absolute problem for Charlotte in this game. Lonzo now open shot is good. And with about four minutes to go, it is 76-73, Charlotte up. Here's Donovan Mitchell with a nice layup, giving the Hornets a five-point lead. As Jayla Johnson on the drive, he makes the quick mid-range, and once again, it is a three-point and one-score game. Lonzo misses the layup. There's Zion with a putback dunk. 77-78 now, 2.40 to go. Here's Anthony Edwards trying to drive it in himself. Edwards, he gets it to Bamba. Bamba loses it. Stolen by the Pelicans. Here's Jalen Johnson. He's going to pass it out for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Who connects from deep in the Pelicans. Take a two-point lead with about 2.20 to go. Anthony Edwards with the short shot, tying it up at 80. Here we go. Two minutes to go. This game is tied. Whoever plays better in these next two minutes will win the basketball game. Going to start off with a layup from Alonzo Ball. 82-80. to Here's Anthony Edwards with the drive. He gets fouled. Here we go. Anthony Edwards with the two biggest three throws of his life. Edwards has been insane in this game. He's been absolutely cooking as he will end up making both of them, tying the game up at 82 with 150 to go. 
Here's Jalen Johnson, the lawn zone now for three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Bamba. This is Charlotte's chance to take the lead. Kuminga's layup is off the mark. Excellent defense by Jalen Johnson. Both Kuminga and Johnson being rookies out of Duke in this year's class, ironically. There's Jalen Johnson. Now he loses it. Edwards with the tip off the glass gets the layup for the lead. Anthony Edwards with the huge play, and it's now 82-84 with a minute 18 left to go. Johnson over to Lonzo. Lonzo guarded by Bradley Beal. Lonzo, he's just stuck here. No one's open. Going to pass it out for Wiseman. Over to Zion. Back to Lonzo for three. He connects. Lonzo ball is clutch. Pelicans up by one with a minute to go. Can the Hornets answer back? The answer is a clear yes. Donovan Mitchell quickly hits a three. And Charlotte is now up by two with 50 seconds to go. Johnson to Zion. No good. Excellent defense by Jonathan Kuminga. Hornets should probably dribble up the clock a little bit. They won't. Edwards is fouled. That's a hard foul on James Wiseman. He doesn't agree with the call. I don't know how he doesn't. I mean, that's clearly a foul. Edwards ends up making the first three throw. And his second one is even more money. And the Hornets are up by four with under 40 seconds to play. Here's Jalen Johnson. He's trying to do all sorts of dribble moves on Anthony Edwards. Trying to get past Wiseman. Here's Johnson. Connects on the layup. 87-89 with 27.1 seconds remaining. Can the Hornets close this out? Or can the Pelicans get a miracle and keep the NBA Finals alive? Here's Bradley Beal. He's going to dribble out the clock for a while. Beal now going to try to drive it in himself to Bamba. Over to Anthony Edwards. Under 10 seconds to go. Edwards is fouled again. This time by Zion. There's only 8.7 seconds left. Anthony Edwards is going to try to put the money in the grave and the dagger on this game. He makes the first one and he makes the second one. Anthony Edwards now 9 for 9 from the three throw line. And he has continued to be cash money from the charity stripe. 87-91 with 8.7 seconds to go. Alexander Walker, quick three, no good. Rebounded by Edwards to Donovan Mitchell. The Pelicans aren't trying to foul. Kuminga now going to have it as the clock hits double zeros. And the Charlotte Hornets for the first time in franchise history are NBA champions. What a game. What a team. What a series. This Charlotte Hornets team was not supposed to win the NBA Finals this year. They were the five seed in the Eastern Conference. The Atlanta Hawks took them to seven games in the first round. And Charlotte needed an Anthony Edwards game winner in that game seven to move on. And the Hawks, they actually had a game winner after Anthony Edwards. Remember, Jonathan, John Collins hit the crazy three, but it was called back. If that shot by John Collins isn't called back, then not only do the Hornets not win the NBA Finals, they don't make the NBA Finals, they don't get out of the first round, and the legacies of this, this team and the stories of these players' careers and the story of this My League is forever altered. The Hornets were able to win round two in seven games against the New York Knicks. They took Boston to five in the Eastern Conference Finals and have now won the NBA Finals over the Pelicans in six. Only right that Anthony Edwards is the one holding up the finals trophy. He's been the best player on this team during this playoff run. As uh, the guys got some uh, 21 and over drinks. I don't know if Anthony Edwards or Jonathan Kuminga are over 21. Kuminga's holding the finals trophy there, not the drinks. Good. As we got some beautiful pictures in the locker room. These guys are turned up right now. And can you blame them? They're on cloud nine. They're on the top of the world as your Charlotte Hornets are the NBA champions. The finals MVP rightfully goes to Anthony Edwards. 24 points a game, very efficient. He was phenomenal. Looking up a box score here for game six, Anthony Edwards with 36 points in this one. Bamba with 16 rebounds. That's a big number for Big Mo. Mitchell and Beal in the double figures as well for Charlotte. Quiet games for Kaminga, Bridges, and really the whole bench uh, for this Charlotte Hornets team, but it doesn't matter because we are the champions. For the Pelicans, 
Uh, Zion with 17, James Wiseman with 16 points and 16 rebounds. He was an absolute problem in this game. Johnson and Ingram also in the double figures. But that's how season number three of the Charlotte Hornets My League will end. And that'll do it for the series as a whole. We're going to place the bow on the Hornets My League and end it. The reason why I'm ending it now is really based on where we are in the 2K cycle. I don't really think we have enough time to get a fourth season of the series in. Uh, so here's one final look at the team first off. What a squad this was. But I do plan on starting a new 2K series within the coming days. I've been planning for it for the past couple weeks. I'm really excited to share it. It's unlike anything I've really ever done on this channel. So uh, I'm very excited to show it off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. And for the final time in the Charlotte's Hornets My League, have a good one. Peace.